be your first time here. Let's try this. Okay. So, um, here's the recycling project by Matt Helm. So, first what we're going to look at is, we're going to look at why should we do the Waste Stream Challenge. So, first of all, the Waste Stream Challenge is a fun program. This program helps your family reduce your waste and increase your recycling weight. About 230 million tons of trash is dumped in a landfill each year. You can help us lower that number. And your school can win prizes, and you can win prizes, money, all sorts of stuff. Um, here's the challenge flyer that we have. This is the flyer for the challenge. So this has all of your information on it. That's kind of a cool flyer there. What is it? What do you need? Picture of someone laying their trash. All that. the challenge, so now we're going to go into the steps of how you do this. So first you have to sign up, and this is, I have a little iframe of the website here, so this is the website, and you'll sign up, um, you have to, um, you have to do the conducting your own waste stream in here, which would make you make your own waste stream challenge, and then people can sign up. So you can just click on your school. So the next step is step two, which is it's a little easier if you have step two. Okay, now we have step two. Good. So um, step two is even more fun than you can see right there. Even more fun. Um, what you do is you must weigh your trash and recycling per week. Um, then we're going to see what well, well basically what you would do is click here, and this will bring up a video. So this guy is the video, and what you're going to do is he will, here I'm not going to play the video for you, but I'll slide through it. So what you do is you add the recycling in your trash, there you go, you have your recycling in your trash, there. And then what you're going to do, one second here, I use the computer for this one. You are going to weigh yourself, and then, so you're going to look at the total, well, well that's kind of bad there. Internet's not cooperating right now. Well, basically what you're going to do, oh, okay, so you're going to go on the scale, you're going to weigh yourself, and then, you're going to take, pick up your garbage, go on the scale, and you're going to see how much you and the garbage weighs, and you're going to subtract your weight from the garbage weight, and that's your total weight. So that's how we do that. Um, once you have your weight, you're going to enter them on the website that I showed you before. Um, then you're going to submit your weights for the week. Now, it does take a little bit of time to submit your weights. It's not going to take more than three minutes, probably five, maybe five at the most. So that's a little time commitment, but I think you guys have five minutes in your day. Then you're going to um, blog about your weight. So here's the website one. This is the website that you have to submit your weight, just like the old one, basically. The other one, it's the same thing. Um, but this website, too, is your blogging website. And when you sign up, you'll get a blogging username and password to enter here. Okay? And, of course, I entered it wrong, so it's mad at me now. But, um, and then what you'll do is you'll go to blogs, and then a little notification comes down there. And then you'll click on your school, and you'll have all of your blogs here. So that'll be all the blogs. And then your blog will come up when you blog. So you'll blog about like what you did to reduce your waste and how you're reducing your waste and why you why you're doing the challenge and what you're doing wrong, I guess, and what you're doing good. So this will not take longer than 30 minutes, I bet. I mean, unless you're slower than that. And look at that. 
you're done. See how easy that was? Um, you can click here to sign up, obviously, but I'm, just, I'm really glad I'm still going to do that. Um, let's see here, we got to go to a different page now. Okay, so the second thing we're going to look at is the life cycle of milk curtain. You all drink a milk, I'm pretty sure, or you've all seen a milk curtain before. So, um, this is the picture of um, um, the life cycle of the milk curtain right here, a picture of it. Um, but we're going to go through uh, the life cycle right So step one, the milk like the, the the milk curtain, my mistake, is produced in a factory. And step two, they ship it to the consumer. The customer, there you go. The customer is taking a little bit. The customer uses the milk curtain, so they drink it, they get rid of it. Now how are they gonna get rid of it? They recycle it or do they toss it in the trash? So let's say recycle it. Just for example, because okay. So then Nice, you recycled the milk carton. The milk carton was sent back to the factory to be used again. You can see these are actually milk cartons here. These are milk cartons right here. So, the milk cartons can be recycled, but you need to recycle milk cartons. So that was kind of the life cycle there. And let's see what would have happened if you would have thrown it in the trash. If you would have tossed it in your milk carton in the trash. Eventually, the milk carton would have dissolved into the ground. Uh, that person doesn't know what to do with the milk carton, by the way. Um, but it will take years, years, to eat, and years to get it to solve back into the ground. It would have been a smarter choice if you would have recycled the milk carton. So that's it for that one. Okay, so let's look at home milk to done here. That's kind of interesting. I let the internet be slow again. So, um, Basically what you're doing for just a quick summary of the waste stream challenge is you're weighing your trash, um, putting it online, put the weights online, and blogging about it. So that's your basics for the weights. Um, um, for this project, we had to interview somebody. So this is our interview. Um, I interviewed Miss West, Miss West, and she said, here's what she had to say. Um, the blue is the question, and the green is the answer here. So, Class. Here's what she has to say. Okay, so one of the questions we asked her is one thing that is going well with her for the race challenge. Well, she was a big recycler already, so nothing really has changed right now, but she's always recycled and she's always separated her cardboard from the rest of the other materials. One thing that she's struggling with in regards of the waste challenge. Um, not, nothing is really being struggled yet because it's only week one. So that's what the answer we got for that. And how does this apply to the real world application? If more people recycled and separated items, it would reduce a lot of waste that is in the landfills. Not many people recycle. We have to have the population wake up and see what not to do and how recycling helps the planet a lot. So that is our last thing except for just our sources page. Just all our work so cited. You know, old www.com will end up there. So um, that's all, and use that to sign up for the Waste Stream Challenge right now.